Hey guys, Sean here. So, I would like to talk about some of the reasons that I believe do not have to do with why human beings are experiencing Mandela Effect changes. Alright? Now, the quantum computers, the D-Wave computer, that, in my opinion, is a very trendy explanation about why everything's getting all wacky in the world. Why reality seems to be all crazy now. D-Wave computer, quantum computers. It is indeed the trendy version of the group of explanations that are out there. I don't buy it. I do not buy the D-Wave quantum type computers Causing Mandela effect. Now, I have to I have to premise this with the fact that I am not an expert on these computers and not even close to it. But from what I am understanding about these computers, quite frankly, they're so far inferior to some type of technology that could cause the type of changes to the reality that human beings experience. No way. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, these computers are not causing Mandela effect. No way. And to be honest with you guys, if quantum computers were causing Mandela effect perceptual changes, cre creating or causing reality to change, so significantly that the globe, the maps, all of a sudden being completely different than what you remember? Uh-uh. Because, if not for anything else, these Mandela effect changes have been occurring for a long time. I'm going to put a video below about Dick Cavett. Many years ago, a number of decades ago, Dick Cavett, 70s, TV show, there was a, a change, a Mandela Effect shift. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but if, if you want proof, not proof, but strong evidence that the Mandela Effect Quantum jumping, matrix glitch, weirdness was occurring decades ago, way before any kind of quantum computer ever existed, before regular computers existed, at least available to us public. Because you know the military has probably got some crazy computers, and several decades ago they probably still had some crazy computers. But yes, before quantum computers, Mandela Effect was occurring. The Dick Cavett thing is, is, is one of those examples and there are many others so this has been going on for a long long time not quantum computers quantum computers at best could enhance the situation could influence subtle points but causing the mandela effect and what we're experiencing as human beings no absolutely not uh-uh Time travel. I have always been fascinated with time travel. So awesome. Then I started to understand all the different timelines. Now, when I say that, I mean I understand that there are all these different timelines. Yes. Time travel. The, the grandfather paradox. Are you familiar with that? The grandfather paradox. Um, it's been uh, scientifically proven that if you can go almost the speed of light in a spaceship and you can go almost the speed of light, when you're traveling at that velocity, you, you experience time at a slower pace. Based on the 3D physical world we live in, the faster you travel through time, the s I'm sorry, the faster you travel through space, the slower you travel through time. And if you can go 99.9% .9 plus the speed of light, you, the, the effects are very noticeable. 
So if you can go that fast for, let's say, 24 hours in that spaceship, you come back to Earth and 35 years have passed. So all of a sudden, you know what? I made a big mistake. I'm, I'm describing two different things at once. But you know what? It's all good because I'm going to clarify now. Um, no, I'm not going to erase this video. Start from scratch. I'm just going to give you what I have. So the grandfather paradox versus what I was just talking about. So the spaceship thing, that has to do with Einstein's theory of special relativity. So when you're going that fast and you come back after uh, like, you know, like a short period of time and all of a sudden, even though for you it's been like a day, 35 years have now passed on Earth and now your friends are like grandparent age. Your 25-year-old best friend is now retired. So yes, and that is told the theory, the special theory of relativity has been proven time and time again. So, but the grandfather paradox has to do with time travel. So yes, the paradox is if time travel was real, let's say you could go back in time to and meet your grandfather when he was young before he ever ever met your grandmother and then they had your one of your parents as a child and you killed your grandfather before he ever had a chance to 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 make a uh, to have an offspring which would be one of your parents and you killed him how is it possible that you would have ever been born to go back and do it that's the grandfather paradox but yes Multiple timelines. So if, if time travel is possible and you had the te technology to do it and you went back in time and did that, you'd still be around because there's all millions, billions, trillions, infinite amounts of timelines. It's not one linear timeline. It's a very outdated model, linear model. So yes, time travel, people going back in time and changing things and then the Berenstein Bears changes names. Too many timelines, not just one. Also, if time travel was behind Mandela effect changes, somebody goes back. Let's say, let's say there isn't multiple timelines. Let's say there's just one. How boring is that? But let's say there is one. So the time traveler goes back and changes something, changes the um, back like before the the Baron the Berenstain or Berenstein, depending on which timeline you're from. Those, the creator, I think it's Jan and Stan, those creators of the Very Seen Bears book series and movies, uh, cartoons, what if they, like, somehow the time traveler influenced the name, paid them off all this money, all this stuff to change their names from Baron Steen to Baron Stain, and they agreed to change their last name to Baron Stain at an earlier age for all this money, and then when they came out with the book series, it was Baron Stain. Now you have a, a all of a sudden you've changed the future with this one timeline. Here's the problem. If it changed and there's only one timeline, then everybody in the future who experienced Baron Stain as the new reality would have no freaking memory whatsoever of Baron Steen, let alone most of the people out there. Most people familiar with those bears remember it with an E, not an A. Time travel, absolutely not. Another thing. Now this is this is a more common like the 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 CERN the collider causing Mandela effect changes that's fairly common and I was utterly and absolutely confident and sure that had nothing to do with Mandela effect changes that I, even though I've been talking about Mandela effect on this this platform since like August of 2015, I never brought it up till very recently because I it just it has nothing to do with Mandela effect. Now those who like to promote fear and anxiety, and those who have interest in 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 portraying the philosophy that technology, people in power positions, out outside external influences, 
are more powerful than the human being's inner willpower. Those people who like that concept, for whatever reason, they like that CERN idea. It's a bunch of bullshit. Yes, CERN has to do with different parallel realities because, quite frankly, it was designed for negative purposes. It was designed to harm humanity. Yes. So those who are on the, who 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 don't know any better and are, are, are trumping the CERN thing, yes. Maybe maybe you uh, are, are embracing the idea and the concept and feeling the energy that CERN is no good for us and it has to do with parallel realities. But it's not Mandela effect changing. It's not related to Mandela effect changes. No. Uh uh. Mandela effect changes have been happening, just like I said earlier in the video, way before CERN ever existed. CERN is new. Uh-uh. CERN is not causing Mandela effect. No. CERN was created for a variety of reasons. I'm aware of one of the one of the main reasons was to create a portal. Think of a Ouija board pulling in negative spirits. That on steroids times 10 million. Trying to pull in powerful. Think of um um the movie Transformers, the Transformers movies, where they're trying to create this portal and pull in these like, yeah, trying to pull in these really powerful, really bad beings. A lot of you out there would call them demonic beings. Yes. That's what CERN was about. And it's a really big story about why it didn't work. But at this point in time, it's, I just don't feel it's feasible to get into all the details on why it didn't work. But it didn't work. The window was missed. And now CERN is a minor nuisance. But it's not Mandela effect changes related. No. No. Uh-uh. So yes. So if you are trying to figure out Mandela effect changes and you are trying to figure out what's causing them, is it okay? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it something to fear? Is it something you should avoid? First of all, trust your heart. Trust your feelings. Because your heart and your feelings and your intuition are vastly superior to your brain power. Vastly superior. All right? You ever hear the saying when you're taking a test, like an SAT test, with the little bubble dots and the you know, number two pencil? Trust your fir first instinct. Whatever you feel first is probably correct. Any good teacher has told you that. Trust your instincts and your feelings about changes, Mandela effect, the reality in general. Go with your first gut instinct. But yes, there are those out there, whether they're confused, whether they have entities that are attached to them without them knowing it that are causing negativity, or whether they have an agenda. There are those out there for a variety of reasons, whether they know it or they don't know it, who are going to promote fear-based things. Mandela effect, caused by fear-based ideas, specifically influences outside of your being that are causing the Mandela effect to change. The world was going to shit, and we got transported to another planet to be saved. There is technology, computers, artificial intelligence that is playing with the Matrix. Those with the power are using a mind control experiment. All hogwash. Now, all those things that I just mentioned have relevance and they have truth and they have influences on our reality as a whole. But when you're looking at big picture, the direction humanity's going and Mandela effect changes and the experience of it by conscious human beings, it's not any of that fear based BS. I'm, and if it, <laughs> I was, I was going to say, I, I'd probably be swearing a whole lot more if I didn't rein it in because 
you know, this is a this is a family friendly uh, uh, channel. So, um, you know, some of my earlier videos I swore a lot, and I needed to like kind of like just chill with that. But I think I get my point across. That fear based BS is exactly what it is. BS. Okay. Human consciousness evolving. That's where you're going to find answers. Human beings and their DNA becoming more. That's where the answers are. It's within us. Many of you have heard about that. Not, not, not specifically about that with Mandela Effect, but many of you have heard about that concept. The answers are within. See God within. Now, I'm not going to get into too much religious stuff. But, yes, the answers are within, inside us. So, there's another... It's not as commonly uh, talked about as CERN, but it's more common than maybe the, the new trendy D-wave computer type stuff. But it's the that we've been transported from, like, let's say, Earth 1 to Earth 2, or Earth 1 to one of the four Earths. So when you put a finite number on the amount of Earths we've been transported to, for whatever reason, we blew ourselves up, you know, the, the, those who are chosen to, to continue on. Now... Those who, see, those who were chosen to continue on and, like, continue on the new Earth and all of a sudden the map changes, let me talk to, to you folks about this. Because I, I was learning about some of this stuff a long time ago. When I say a long time ago, I'm talking about 99, 2000, and then later. Mandela Effect, when it, when it came... I was not, like, blown away. I was excited. My mind definitely felt stretched out. But it didn't blow me away because I heard it was coming. I didn't expect it at this point. I figured I was going to be a grandpa by the time it came. Or I was just going to see the beginnings of it before when this before this lifetime was over but it came it came only a few years after 2012 man it hit me like a ton of bricks though wow so i knew i knew it was coming not exactly but i knew something like the mandela effect was on its way it was coming and nothing was going to stop it but i didn't expect it to come so fast hey guys mark it up i know what you're thinking so uh 